Welcome everyone to Trinity Islands. We are here for the technical, again, second time, but here for the first time. Let us go ahead and open our park. I'm going to make sure it's free to begin with. Yep, it is. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I mentioned at the end of last episode when we were touring this park that I wanted to go ahead and cut it off. Um, and I think that's a good place to do it. Um, and that's leaves us with a let's go to underwater view we're probably going to keep this view on for most of the time in this park just because it helps to see or at least when we're building just because it helps to see what we're working with but that gives us a decent chunk of space to start with so let's get things built um, we're going to start with some basic shops and stalls and i think what i want to do on this park is kind of do a somewhat of a food court area um, for each, um, what am I trying to say, for each island. Um, so there's three islands and I want each one to have, actually, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, each one I want to have its own kind of food court. And I have a design in mind, uh, kind of based off of, um, hold on, I need to think through this. Okay. So kind of based off of what we ended up doing at the very end of last episode um, on Bumpley Beach, at least, uh, we did that little walkway and then it ended with this kind of design here. I want to put an information kiosk right in the center. And then I also want food and drink stalls along all the sides here. Uh, and we're going to line this thing. So it's going to be covered by the end hopefully at least um, and we did this earlier and we need to do it again oops uh, so we'll have a drink stall there and we'll do an ice cream stall on the other side I'm not gonna put the restroom with this because I'd rather have restrooms kind of spaced out throughout my park and not part of the food court um, we'll actually put a couple of these out right now we'll probably do one or two per island this island's kind of long so I wanted to do a second one right there and again we'll charge 10 cents for these open that up and we need to give our one guest here something to do but before we do that let's go ahead and get some some benches and uh trash cans and all the all the usual stuff go ahead and take care of this real fast this island's a little bit bigger than i thought i didn't think i'd be placing this many but here i am <laughs> Okay. Oh, and I think I I might have just done over a bench with a trash can. Done over a bench. Gone over a bench. That makes more sense. And one more right there. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's let's build something. Uh what do we have to start with? We've got a boat hire, scrambled eggs, steel mini. That's always a good one to start with. We'll definitely be building one of those this episode. And then some gentle rides and a chairlift. Chairlift is a a good transport ride for this park um except you can't do three stations on it which i would like to seeing as how we have three islands so we are going to try and be very what's the word i'm looking for actually how much time do we have in this park three years three years okay so if we do i don't want to limit myself to one year per island um because I don't think we'll need that much time on each one. But uh, we're not going to have a very long line for this. It doesn't need to be long. But yeah, I don't want lim to limit myself to one year per island. Because I want to be able to build what I want, where I want, when I want. Uh, I'm just double checking everything here. Actually, we'll test that and then open it just so we get test results sooner. Oh, we already got them. Awesome. Uh, $1.6.60. And then, oh, I forgot to come up with an egg name. I need to start doing that before I start these because they're not super original. It's just kind of adding to the list. Um... I've done egg salad, eggs benedict, sunny side up, scrambled eggs. Um, I 
I don't, uh, hard boiled egg. I will try to come up with a list of those so I don't have to spend so long naming these not so exciting rides for you guys. Um, this is really nice to hear. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. Hopefully pretty well. But the silence of this brand new park and every new park we've done so far always drives me kind of crazy at the beginning. Um, but by the end of it, or not by the end of it, but at this point, we've got we've got some things happening in our park. Not a lot, but some. Why is that elevated? I thought that would be on the water. That's okay. Uh, we'll do an X entrance and exit, not exit and exit. I almost said. Uh, so we'll do entrance and then what? Oh, there's a tree there. That explains that. Uh, what should we do on this one? We'll do... We'll just do the standard blue. Actually, we'll mix blue and green paths on this park. I think that'll look nice. And then that tree's got to go, sadly. And then here's our exit. All done. Awesome. Um, Haunted House 1, open real quick. We'll come back and price it later. I want to get a couple handymen going here. Uh, before I forget about it. And I am going to do footpaths for these guys. At least a couple. Did that cover the exit for that? Yeah, it did. Okay. Handyman one. We should be able to do or get away with probably only three on this island, I would think. Maybe four. Yeah, definitely four. Okay. Let me take care of my handyman and mechanics, and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec once I'm done. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, while I was doing that, I went ahead and hired four handymen. Uh, each of them are covering a portion of this first island, which I've decided to name my islands, um, just for ease of reference. Um, this first one right here is going to be Slender Island. This will be Big Island and this will be Bigger Island. Very original, I know, but it helps me in naming everyone. Um, handymen 1 through 4, I didn't give names to, but they're all patrolling uh, Slender Island. Mechanics 1 and 2, this didn't get updated. Uh, this is Slender Island back. And this guy will be Slender Island front. So I'm giving them names to where they're positioned. Like I mentioned last, uh, at least some point during uh, Bumbley Beach. Uh, so the front half will be kind of, that's this guy. He's right in this area. That's him right there. And then back should be this guy right here. Um, and so as I build new rides, I will pick the one that is closest based on their name uh, to cover that new ride that I build. I also put one security guard for... Slender Island, as well as one entertainer for Slender Island. And I tried... Oh. Slender Islander. That's a mouthful. Uh, but yeah, I tried naming those while I had the game paused, because you can pause the game and hire handymen and drop them throughout my park, which is what I did to not waste too much time. Um, but yeah, now that that's done, hopefully you guys like that better, not having to watch all that. I still went ahead and explained some of it there, but we're going to go ahead and build this merry-go-round, and then I think that'll be good. Um, we will build, well, not for the episode, obviously, but for the uh, for the, our basic rides. So I guess you can't build on the water level. I don't know why that is. But we'll do the entrance right here, the exit there, and we'll get these all lined up. And now, since I have so conveniently named my handymen as well as my mechanics more so for my mechanic in this instance I will assign the mechanic for Slender Island in the back portion to cover this as well and we might hire another because this is kind of a long way for him to go but uh, I can't see what I'm doing so we're just going to do all of that so Slender Island back mechanic now has a much larger area to patrol so we'll go ahead and open up merry-go-round one 
Um, man, I wish it didn't keep taking me out of underwater view. I kind of like that view. I like how it colors the water. It's a nicer color, in my opinion. Um, we need a name for this. Um, Seahorse Haven. And we shall make it the colors of the sea. Um, I kind of like that white. I don't know if I'm going to like doing a green with it. No, I'm most certainly not. We'll, s we'll keep that as white. I, fr I always forget it changes the, the bottom color and not the top. It always is something and white. And I seem to always forget that. A dollar ten for this. And then I don't think we ever named our haunted house. 245. Awesome. So 240. The Scream Shack. I don't know. I like it. Is this still doing okay? Yeah, okay. All right, let's build our first coaster just to give our guests something to do. We had 100 guests earlier. We're dropping our guest count. Um, I need to refresh myself with the objective just to make sure we're on track. Okay, so 750, three years, park rating 600. I think park ratings are always at 600, or at least the required park rating is always at 600. Why? I'm not quite sure, but for whatever reason, that seems to always be the case. So we're going to do it right there. And why this keeps building above the track i don't know because you can definitely i don't think we're going to need that much station you can definitely drop it one which i'm doing right here it's putting us at seven two which normally the default land height is six on most of our other parks so this is actually a little bit higher than some of our other parks that we've that we've done um can i back that off one and then spend left i can awesome Okay, so my plan for this one is, and again, I never I never plan out my rides. I say that almost every time I build a ride, but I want it to go over kind of this first half of this island, or I guess third, maybe. So cut it off like right here. I don't really want it to go much further than that. I might go a little bit out, but I want to go over this bit right here and then kind of loop back around and end it right there. So... Just visually, that's kind of my game plan. Um, I don't have specifics of what I'm doing in mind, but that is the plan. So we're going to try to make this, I don't know, obviously good, but... And we need to make sure we're adhering to this type of ride's preferences. So we start at 17. Can we go up? Probably not yet. No. Can we go up and flat to 14? Absolutely. Uh, we'll actually start dropping it back down. I want to make sure it has some momentum to pull it back down. Is that right in the way? Yes, it is. Ooh, what if we do? What if we do this? Is that cool at all? Is that annoying? I don't know if people are going to love that, hate it. I really don't know. But yeah, this is coming out not horrible so far. Is that tree in my way? Yes, it is. But if I do this, then that tree is going to be in my way. So to remedy that, we'll go back up. We came from 14. Back to 14 again. Will that work? Uh, no, because we're not going to be able to do that. Oh, if we flatten out over this? No, that'd be kind of cool. I was wanting to loop back around and go come out going this way, but that's not going to happen. Um, we could just do this. I think we're going to have to. Nope. I'll just go wide instead. That's probably not going to have the momentum. I need to change that. Okay, so we'll do... 
Man, that's just not going to work. Actually, all my rides are going to be... All my ride, not rides, shops and stalls are going to be along the edge. So I could just not put one right here or on the other side and do three on the back and then a couple more on the sides and have this just clear the path entirely. We'll do one more straight just so I can completely clear that. I think that works out nicely. I'm a fan of it. All right. And then we will see if that gets us around there and it does awesome we'll see if we could do a couple of these kind of up and down bits i always like doing these as long as it doesn't interfere with the land which oh awesome that works out so nice i am trying to get back to the station right about now however i don't know That should work. And then we'll curve it right here. And we are at seven to start. Yeah. And that should work. We will actually build one more station there. And then this will be a break just in case. And again, we're going to continue doing it at, eight, at 18 miles per hour until people die. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But that's that's our game plan. Um, so where does this come out at? We can put the entrance. We'll do the entrance right here. And then the exit can line up. I think that's right there. I know I've got things in my head that you guys can't see or understand quite yet. Uh, what's in my way? That little tree? Yeah. I didn't see that tree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Let's do a green path for this one. We'll see how that looks. Let's get rid of this just so we can have some more screen real estate. Um, we'll go here, here, there, and we'll go back up right now. And we should be level with the path. Awesome. Okay, I'm actually not too opposed to that uh, paint job. The blue is, it's nice. So I said I wanted to do what? To stay within... Uh, man, why can't I ever see this? I said I wanted to cut it off here, but I did go a little bit further out. That's okay, though. I think um, on a park like this, sprawling rides, I think they make more sense. Um, ask me why. I'm not sure I could give you a concrete reasoning, but I think it just does. Um, you wouldn't have this... I don't know. It just doesn't seem logical to me or realistic to have all of them be super condensed in the middle of the ocean um i guess the only stuff i've ever seen above an ocean or a body of water is like a bridge or something and it's usually very spread out not just a condensation not a condensation a cluster of stuff and in this case roller coaster uh, we'll do three cars with i'm actually going to go a little less than max um, what if we do six? Will that get us four? Can we do seven and four? We'll do six. Let's try four trains. I don't know if we've had a ride where we've had four trains yet. So we'll give that a try. Um, I do like this, this paint job, but we're going to change it as always. Um, we've done a couple of white and blue. Let's purple and blue. The darker blue make that look any better. That's kind of cool. It's very very dark um we swap them is that any more appealing i kind of like that maybe you can go a even lighter blue there we go that's kind of cool and then we'll do what color would look good on this um purple blue gray have we done gray cars yet Gray and white, gray and purple. We'll do different colors per train. Train one is gray and purple. Train two will be purple and that light blue. Train three can be light blue with purple. Did I do this differently? I did, awesome. And then train four will be, what did we do, gray with purple to begin with? So we'll do gray with blue. 
Let's see how that looks. I think that looks nice on that track. That looks... Actually, would it look better if we changed the support to gray as well? I think it makes it less... I don't know which I like better. I think I like the gray better. It's happening. Awesome. Um, these colors, I don't know why. They look psychedelic to me. Uh, psychedelic. Psychedelic trip. I like that. That's cool looking. Very vibrant colors. We need to go ahead and open this thing and start making us some money. But first, you guys know the drill. Let's give this thing a test. that worked out very nicely i thought it was gonna have a little too much speed uh when it came down from this portion right here but that does not seem to be the case uh that handyman just completely bypassed the vomit that would be why he doesn't have free reign to go there i've been looking at that piece of vomit for a while now or piece of vomit pile of vomit yeah that sounds better uh so yeah let's test this thing once more open it and let's hope this thing can make us some money because we're slowly losing money just sitting here looking at it perfect five dollars and 20 cents it is 520 i wish this was a text field and you could just type in the price you wanted sometimes it takes way too long to get it to the price you want but i guess that's a good thing um because i'm having to make it so expensive <laughs> that it's taking quite a while. All right, so far, so good. I went ahead and set it to leave if another train arrives just because we have four of them and I'm not really worried about it. We will set it to wait for full load though because as you can see, if they all fill up, which it takes time for people to get in, so this isn't really an accurate representation, but if they were to all to leave as soon as they possibly could, we would still... What am I trying to say? These settings are good. I like them. And I haven't mentioned it since we last commented on it, but ever since I changed it back to inspect every 30 minutes, I feel like our rides are breaking down less, to be honest with you guys, which makes no sense. Why that's the case, I have no idea. But that seems to be the case, so... Oh, this is cool. Suspended single rail coaster. We'll definitely build one of these in this park. Uh, again, it lends itself very well, in my opinion, to kind of a spread out, sprawling type design, which I feel in this park is going to be a little bit nicer. I thought we got some sort of swinging ship. I guess we didn't. Let me make sure we have maximum funding set, which we do. Awesome. Uh, and for this park, it's three years in length as opposed to two on Bubbly Beach. I am going to leave all this checked, um, especially with my effort to make things look nice, which I am going to definitely continue to do. Um, my first effort, I guess, is sort of doing a, a design for my uh, shops and stalls. It's a kind of a pier style food court area. Uh, which I hope we get a lot of shops and stalls. Otherwise, this is going to be severely underwhelming. And I do want to do one of these at each um, at each island. So we've got this one here for Slender Island. We'll do one on Big Island and one on Bigger Island. So uh, let me make sure I priced everything right. 110. Did we ever adjust our haunted house? I don't know if we did. 240. Yeah, we did. Okay. 
Um, and I'm gonna set this to, oh no, there's already a line. Never mind. We're good there. I want to build something else, but we're not exactly rolling in the, the dough right now. Um, what else could we build? Oh, we got a log flume. We're going to build a boat hire real quick. We need some, a little bit more form of revenue, uh, or a few more forms of revenue than we currently have. Um, and I think this spot right here would be perfect. We'll actually go this way with it, line it up. We'll probably do station length, the length of that bit right there, because that looks nice. And then this, we're going to have it just kind of go down and back. I think that'll be cool. And hopefully, because it's going underneath this roller coaster, it will make it a little bit more exciting. One can hope, at least. So, yeah. That's going to be a very simple... No, I actually want to go back one. I want a little bit of gap there. I want to do a little bit of design between the two. Uh, are these going to be touching? Yeah, I think they are. Can I get away with doing this? No, I cannot. That's okay. I wanted to put some geysers in between each one, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. But, as I always say, that will be okay. No skin off my back, as the saying goes. Uh, we will need to go out a little bit just to allow the entrance. And then one, two. This is a lot longer than I was hoping to do. Uh, that's okay, though. That didn't save us any space. I want to end this, but... Looks like our entrance and exit are going right there. And let's hope I can clear this ride. Which I think I can. I believe I only need one height uh, clearance for a boat hire. At least you only need one height uh, when you have... Um, the, the free design... Um, where you just have the station and they can go wherever they want. But we're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, and it's perfect. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Sweet. Now we'll do the same thing with the exit. Hopefully this clears as well. And it does. I was kind of worried because of the, the curve. This is actually a helix. No, it's not. It's not a helix. Never mind. I stand corrected. Okay, um, let's go ahead and add some benches and, or a bench and a trash can <laughs> while I'm looking at it. And then we've already got our entrance and exit. Uh, boat color, what do we have? We haven't done water tricycles yet, have we? I don't think we have. Those look cool. I like those. They look like a tricycle, but they're obviously designed for the water. Uh, what would be good here? Pink? Pink and white? How's that look? Let's try this lighter, kind of salmon-y color. I like that. Uh, we need a, we need a station color to match, but... Actually, I think white will look good. And then if we do a hot pink station... I think that goes nicely. Actually, let's do the lighter pink as well for the station. A little bit easier on the eyes. Um, and... Pink petals. P-E with a D-A-L-S. Or petals with a D, I guess, would be the easier way to say that. <laughs> because they're having to pedal their water tricycle. Which, oh my goodness, they go so slow. This is going to be a long ride. It's going to be a little bit so we can price that appropriately. Okay, what else did we get? I'm trying to build as much as I can this episode because I want money. I need money to build this park. And I don't like taking out massive loans all the time. I can, but I don't want to. 
if I can avoid it. All right, so we've got gentle ride there, gentle ride there, thrill ride here, coaster, gentle ride, technically water ride. Um, I think if we clear some of these trees, this line right here, I think that's a good spot for it. The tree would disagree. <laughs> there we go. And then we can do the entrance. What do we want to do here? We'll actually remove these two trees. Do our exit right here. That tree's got to go as well. Because we're going to connect up this right here. We're actually going to delete that. If you have a square of path, your guests, it's rare that they would, but there's a chance that with their amazing pathfinding abilities, they could keep going back and forth, or I guess not back and forth, but continually going in a square. Um, so that's why it's not advised to have large chunks of path. I think they fixed that in uh, Robo Coaster Tycoon 2, or I don't know if fix is the right word. I think that's been changed um, to where you can have larger areas of walkway. Because that's always something I've wanted to do in this game. If you ever go to a theme park in real life or amusement park, they all have massive swaths of concrete. Pretty much like right as you walk in, it's like a sea of concrete. Um, it's a very massive walkway. And that would lend itself better to being a more grand entrance to a park. Because right now, it's kind of dinky. You know, it's not exciting. Um, whenever I go to a park they have very grand entrances and this just doesn't allow you to do that really uh we're gonna have to delete this path momentarily um i don't know why i just did what i did there with lowering that but let's do a green one right here i'm going this way and i'm actually going to lower it a bit just to give us more more room we don't need a ton, but I'm adding some dimensionality to our park here. We'll look at it that way. And that connects up nicely. Awesome. And let's go ahead and put this back so our guests can get where they need to go. And I think I destroyed a bench doing that, I believe. But we'll go ahead and replace it. It's like with trees. You tear one down, you build one back. Or several. All right, we got our Ferris wheel. I meant to build that kind of over here to space out our gentle rides, but oh well. I think I think it still fits nicely in that space. So I am happy with it. Okay, uh, we are in July, halfway through July, so we need to start wrapping things up here. Uh, but let's go ahead and name our Ferris wheel one, which is can be one seventy. Um, what shall we name this? We have a fortune. <laughs> I don't know. This, this park is a little bit challenging, at least for me. I mentioned, uh, last episode, I wanted to start sort of like theming my parks. This one to me is kind of difficult to theme. Although now that I'm saying that, this would be a perfect one to do sort of like a tropical island theme. Um, so we're actually going to change that from a game show to something tropical. Um, uh, coconut something. Cocoa for coconuts. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing the, uh, what am I trying to say? The kind of tropical theme on a whim here. So, and let's make that tropical. It's already green and blue, which I like, but coconuts are not green. They are not the golden brown. They are brown and actually let's do a lighter brown than that. Ooh, I like that color brown. Why haven't I used that? What if we do white? Brown and white, like the hairs. Actually, the hairs are more of a tan, but that's the closest we can get to that. And I don't think that looks very accurate. So, and what is this the color of? 
That's the thing I just changed. What am I doing? And the supports, we'll do them that same brown. Actually, we'll do them white. I think that looks good. Okay, awesome. I think we have a theme for our park. We're going to try to do everything. We might go back and rename some of this stuff. Um, but we'll try to make that kind of the theme. And if we're going to be doing that, we probably need some of these babies. These things are very tiny in size. I thought these would be way taller than they are. But they're not. <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll just add a few of these real quick, just to kind of get the tropical vibe going here. Now that looks tropical. Oh, we just got an information kiosk. Awesome. When we get back next episode, we will work on that. And we will take care of some other odds and ends around our park. I have a couple ideas in mind now that I've got this theme in my head. Uh, it will do. We'll take this one island at a time as far as decorating goes. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our builds for this episode. Um, if you remember, I think, what was it? Dynamite Dunes was our first park we did after sort of the tutorial based park, which was uh, Frontier or Forest Frontiers. And our park is a lot busier. We have a lot more going on. We already have 300 guests. Um, my episode ones of each park are getting a little bit more action packed. So I don't feel as bad about boring you guys with the, the little stuff because I am trying to make an effort to build some bigger stuff as well. So, all right. Thank you guys again for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.